Let's take a look and see if we can't find the greatest common factor for 16 and for 48. So the GCF, greatest common factor, that's also called the greatest common divisor, highest common factor. It's the same thing. The answer will be the same. So what we do, we find the factors for 16 and 48, look at the common factors, compare those and just choose the greatest. That's the GCF. So let's write the factors for 16 first. 1 times 16, that's 16. 2 times 8, and then 4 times 4, that's 16. So these are the factors for 16. Then we can look at 48. We have 1 times 48. There's a lot of them. 2 times 24, that's 48. 3 times 16. That's 48. Then 4 times 12. That's 48. And then finally, 6 times 8. That's 48. So we went through all these factors here. We have them for 16 and for 48. Let's see what's in common. Well, 1 goes into 16. 1 goes into 48. 2, that's in common. 4, yep, that's in common. And 8, that's in common over here but it looks like the greatest common factor between 16 and 48 is indeed 16. So in answer to our question, the GCF for 16 and 48, that's 16. There are other ways you could do this like prime factorization, but unless you have some pretty big numbers, this works pretty well. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.